atoms. So this is the revision of the chapter atomic structure and chemical bonding which we have covered in last week. So please see in the atomic structure first we will learn about the structure of an atom, history of that. So in the history the first thing it is given by the Maharishi Canada in 6th century BC in India according to him matter consisted of small indestructible minute particle called Parmanus. Same after some time the Greek philosopher Democratics called Parmanu as an atom. Atom means which is indivisible. So these are the two contributions given by the first historical contribution given by the two scientists. So after the, these contributions but they are not uh, given any theory regarding this atom. So Dalton's give the first scientist who gave the theory about an atom. So what are the main points of Dalton's atomic theory? First, atoms are indivisible particles. Atoms can neither be created nor be destroyed. Meaning is what? We cannot further divide atom and we cannot create and make a new atom and destroy an existing atom. Similarly, atoms of an element all are alike in all the respects like and different atoms for different elements. For example, if you are taking nitrogen atom, all the nitrogen element, all the atoms of nitrogen will be same. So this is the uh, third point. Atoms of the elements combined with another atom in the simple ratio. When they are combining, they are combining in simple ratio to form a molecules. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter that can take part in a chemical reaction. So these are the points and the theory given by the John Dalton. But afterward, the definitions we can see an atom is the smallest element that exhibit all the properties of element. So this is the definition of an atom. So in this uh, chapter, we are mainly going to learn about the structure of an atom. What are its subatomic particles? So first subatomic particle, which is discovered by the J.J. Thomson, which one was that? Electron. How it discovered? It is discovered by the cathode ray tubes experiment. Cathode ray discharge tube also it is known as what is the experimental setup as you can see in this diagram. It is a tube which is approximately at a vacuum you can say very low pressure. Two condition is required in this experiment. One is a vacuum uh, near, va near to vacuum a tube and a very high voltage. What is observed at, the, at this case? When we are taking these two conditions the current starts passing through air from cathode to anode. As cathode is a negatively charged, anode is a positive charge. So what it is observed? A rays is observed that is carrying negatively charged. So that rays are called cathode rays. Is it clear? So that, what are the properties of that rays? As you can see, on application of electric field, these rays deflected towards positive charge plates. So meaning is charge on itself on the cathode rays negative. So when a small wheel is kept in front of their path, so this is that starts rotating. This confirms that their nature is particulate nature. They penetrate through the matter. Whichever we are kept in uh, the path of them, the rays, they are penetrate means going deep hole it is creating in that. So these are the some properties of the cathode rays. So cathode rays are what students? These are nothing, just the electrons. Electrons are moving in that path. So that's why it, how electrons discovered. So from this Thomson concluded that atoms Atoms, cathode rays are nothing, they are uh, carrying electrons. So these negatively charged particles are integral part of an atom and electron. And the, what are these? These are electron. Electron have both definite mass and definite electric charge. So this is the first discovery of electron, the first subatomic particle. That means inside an atom it is existing and carries which charge? Negatively charged. So after that, these are the questions you can see cathode rays. So they which are moving from negative plate cathode towards traveling towards anode. The conditions must you learn about these two conditions for this experiment low pressure and very high voltage. Afterward, properties of an electron electron carries charge negative, its mass is 9.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kg. So after the discovery of electron, the one more scientist E. Goldstein, he just observed not only from negative to positive. Uh, other side also the rays are observed, observing in what that are rays are known as canal rays, just reverse to cathode rays. So their charge is what? Positively charged. 
so because why they are can, uh, called canal canal rays because they are passing through as you can see perforated that means holes are there in that experiment plate you can see cathode and uh, in that cathode there are holes so that's why these rays are passing through that so that's why these are called canal rays also otherwise other name of these rays are anode rays because they are evolving from or uh, creating from anode plate so that's why they are also known as anode rays all the properties are just reverse as they are positively charged they deflect it towards negative plate in the presence of electric field so these are the sum of the property they are producing fluorescence on the zinc sulfide screen fluorescence means they are producing shine when they are colliding with that screen is it clear so the, why they are ca called canal rays as i just now explained this is because they are passing through the holes which is so these are the properties of protons protons are found inside the nucleus this is a tiny dense region of an atom is it clear so their charge is what positive charge now after the discovery of the proton now next is the model now model is what how the atoms looks like so this is the first model is given by jj thompson he told he he compare atom with plum pudding or we can say that watermelon so that's why like in a watermelon whatever the red edible part that is the positive charge and what are that black seeds that you can see observe in this screen black seeds are called electrons so these are embedded in the positively charge this is the first model of an atom given by the thomson but thomson's and he said that whole atom is electrically neutral because total positive charge and total negative charge are equal but he could not able to give any experimental evidence for his model so that's why this model is failed afterward the next model came that is of rutherford this was a very important model because he gave first experiment then only he given some conclusions about the uh, model of an atom see first experimental details please listen in this experiment alpha particles are there uh, uh, emitting from this source alpha particle are what doubly charged helium so when they are colliding with the thin gold foil why we are only taking foil because a uh, foil of gold because it is a most malleable metal we can get the least we can say thin layer as much as possible so that's why we are taking gold so when these are colliding with gold gold atoms are bigger what it is observed just reverse of the thomson's model he observed that most of the particles alpha particle are passing straight through the foil without any deflection without any deflection uh, where they observed this uh, circular fluorescent screen you can see on that fluorescent screen they are colliding and producing fluorescence and some of are scattered at some small angles and very least very least uh, approximately 1000 after one so uh, sorry one after 1000 so they are rebounded back their path so what are the conclusions and observations observed from the rutherford please see now as most of the particles are inside without any deflection going so that means most of the space inside an atom is empty so empty space it it is just reverse as the thomson said that most of the space is filled with positive so second point if very few are deflecting this indicate that because positive can repel positive alpha particle are positively charged so positive can repel positive that there is a small space where the positive charge occupies and a very small rebounding back this indicate that where that positive charge is like these are lying at the center so concentrated at the center so what the main features from this uh, he observed that a positive charge center is called nucleus so that's why nucleus is discovered by the rutherford so th third uh, uh, so we can say that uh, inside an atom thing is discovered the nucleus which is discovered by a rutherford negative charge particles are there electrons they are revolving around the nucleus in paths called orbits is it clear so electrons are revolving around the paths that are uh, that are called orbits but rutherford almost able to give many uh, things about the electron but he is not able to explain about the stability of an atom how if a because if a negative charge is rotating it will continuously lose its energy as electron is negatively charged if it is continuously rotating it will lose its energy so rutherford could not and ultimately it will fall into the nucleus so that is contradictory atoms are stable but this thing is saying that atoms are unstable so that thing was contradictory 
so rutherford could not able to explain the stability of an atom so afterward so these are the some questions related to which metal we are taking in rutherford experiment that is gold metal we are taking why it is we are taking it is most malleable and second question what would you think that observation if it is carried out with heavy nucleus heavy nucleus no change but if we are taking light nuclei that will be deflected back so it will not give that much result as given by the heavy nucleus so on the basis of rutherford's model which subatomic particles are present in the nucleus as at that time only proton were discovered so that meaning is inside a nucleus only subatomic particle is proton so till now we what we have learnt about that uh, rutherford uh, about an atom uh, in an atom there is nucleus in which that there is protons and outside that nucleus there are subatomic particle electron electrons are carrying negative charge protons are carrying positive charge drawback of rutherford's model is he could not able to explain the stability afterward the next model came niels bohr niels bohr bohr model overcome this uh, limitation that was of rutherford's what he said electrons are there these are rotating in their paths but an electron will not lose or gain energy while revolving around the paths so that means their energy is remaining constant but how they can lose and emit energy when they are jumping from the higher to lower level like from one orbit to another orbit when they are jumping and uh, going so at that time they are changing its energy so this is the uh, niels bohr's model of an atom that you can see the inside is there is nucleus the first shell is k afterward l m so these are the energy shells energy shells means the energy of these shells are fixed so afterward related to this what this x represents x represents nucleus what this a b and which one will be the denoted a is denoted k shell b is denoted l shell and c is denoted k l and m c is denoted m shell which is the least we can ha uh, yes least energy would be of which shell a inside the uh, near to the nucleus least energy so these are the answers of this please you can see afterward the discovery of a neutron how it is discovered when we check that atoms mass is not matching with the mass of protons and electron it is not matching with that so from there uh, scientist got a idea that some another particles also are there present inside an atom so james chadwick discovered these atoms these atoms are neutrons so this is the third subatomic particle third subatomic particle is that neutron which is carrying no charge it is neutral so this experiment details you no need to learn it is not in your syllabus so these are the thomson discovered electron e goldstein discovered proton and chadwick discovered neutrons this answer you can see so now till the time we have learned two theories dalton was the first theory now according to the modern theory all the things are changes as dalton said atoms are indivisible but modern theory said atoms are divisible atoms can neither be created nor be destroyed but modern theory said atoms can be created can be destroyed in nuclear fusion and fusion reaction this is not this is in higher classes reactions atoms of all elements are all alike so this also uh, is uh, in modern atomic atomic theory is changed because in an atom uh, element there are existing isotopes isotopes are there so that are same element but different in some properties so afterward so this table is given in your book this is all about the subatomic particles so their symbol charge and mass actual mass so now these are the basic things as you have learnt in your earlier classes also atomic number is always equals to number of protons atomic mass is equals to number of protons plus number of neutrons so this is known as atomic notation x is the symbol like na at the top we will write mass number at the bottom we will write atomic number for example na its mass number is 23 we will write right at top its atomic number is 11 we will write at the bottom so mass is measured in the uh, unit is called atomic mass unit and it is expressed as the u and the particle which is inside the nucleus are called nucleons which are the nucleons protons and neutrons so if an atom is made up of four protons five neutrons and four electron what is the atomic number as now only just we discussed atomic number is equals to number of protons proton are four atomic number is four and what is the mass number mass number is equals to protons plus 
न्यूट्रॉन्स फाइव प्लस फोर इज नाइन सो दिस आंसर यू कैन सी सो देर आर सो दिस इज दोहर बड़ी स्कीम दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस इन द लास्ट वीक सो बहुत बड़ी स्कीम इज वट इन दैट शेल्स इलेक्ट्रॉन फिलिंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस टू ए रूल विच वट इज दैट रूल टू एंड स्केयर मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल नंबर दैट कैन अचीव इज टू एंड स्केयर एन इज द वैल्यू ऑफ शेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल के शेल एन वैल्यू इज वन सो इन के शेल देर आर टू इंटू वन स्केयर दैट इज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन कैन बी फिल्ड इन सेकेंड एल शेल इट इज एन वैल्यू इज सेकेंड इट इज टू इंटू टू स्केयर दैट इज आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विल एट सो मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन कैन बी फिल्ड इज एट सो दिस इज अकॉर्डिंगली एंड सेकेंड इज दैट द इलेक्ट्रॉन कैन बी अकोमोडेटेड इन गिवन शेल्स नॉट अकोमोडेटेड इन गिवन शेल अनलेस द इनर शेल्स आर नॉट फिल्ड दैट मीन्स वर्स्ट वी विल शिल फिल के देन वी विल फिल एल देन ओनली वी विल प्रोसीड फर्दर टू वर्ड्स एम नाउ द थर्ड पॉइंट इज आउटर मूव शेल कैन नॉट अकोमोडेट मोर देन एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट दिस इज इट क्लियर सो दिज आर द पॉइंट्स अबाउट द Uh, so M shell have uh, eighteen electron, but only eight electrons are filled. This is due to the fact that ele electrons become stable only after acquiring eight electron in their outermost shell. So this is also called the electronic configuration. For example, the electronic configuration is of hydrogen is one. For example, nitrogen atomic number is seven. So its electronic configuration is two and five. So uh, related to that, last question, please see. mg is there mass number as uh, now only i told at the top it will be mass number so mass number is 24 at the bottom it's atomic number so now electronic configuration is what its electronic configuration is 2 8 and 2 because total number are what 12 so this is the, all the things we have learnt in the last week so this you can revise thank you students <coughs>